on the same page on that? Wait, you want to talk about Hans Gruber or are we going to talk about Rob Romero? Samuel L. Jackson, Jeremy Irons, Bruce Willis. That movie was phenomenal. Yeah, but in the first one, I mean, you just gotta... That, that's where it all began. Yeah, but... Think about a sequel that really tied it together. You know, Hans Gruber's brother, like... Just like but number two was not good, right? The second no, number two was bad. That's why number three was so good, I feel like, because it, it really righted the ship for a series that could have gone off the rails. Right, but you lose the trust of the viewer when... Anyway, back to the chess here. <laughs> we see that we have a position uh, where Magnus finally decides to break open the board, but look at how he's sitting there, right? He knows yeah. that this match is getting out of hand. It's maybe already a foregone conclusion, and that's a bad place to be as a chess player because, of course, he wants to win every game he plays, but when you're Magnus Carlsen and you're kind of expected to win every game the pressure's on you, and if you feel like responsible for how the team does, as if you're yeah. the only one playing. Yeah, it is, it is tough, and we know he, he loves the league, that's why he plays every week, he cares a lot, and certainly lucky for the chess bras, even if they lose this round four, and, and ultimately the match, they still have a chance next week, they are, their season is not over, uh, and, and maybe that's what the people would, they want, you know, more content, more drama from the chess bras, but certainly this day has not been what Magnus wanted to see that game to Shimon on Heartbreaker. Um, okay, this is a fun one, let's just show everybody the battery on the long diagonal, just because some people like to see basic checkmates, you know, just give, give me a give me a highlight there, you know, that's all, that's all I ever wanted, is that. Yeah, it's a longer distance relationship than you and I have, <laughs> me too. Just, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to make, you know, everybody happy, and so that is not going to happen, that would be too accommodating, and we instead have yeah. a locked up position. D6 and then 97, the battery is still there, and sometimes there's fun discovered tactics, but okay, no player at this level will blunder into it, and white often will end up retreating that queen at some point, everyone, and maybe putting a knight on d5, maybe you try to get e4 and get a fine style position, there's a lot of options here, so, alright, Magnus knows he has options in this game, but what options does his teammates have left, uh, we're gonna...
going to say the Eva bar slipped. Magnus oh. was winning there for a second. You know, now he's winning again. Yeah, because this king is going to win this pawn over here. Oh, wait, but if you take the pawn, there's rook g1 ideas. Yeah, you have to be a little careful here. But you can play rook g3 first here, and then h2, rook g2. He's going the other way. He's going to go rook okay, a3. Same. White will just white oh. will just put the rook on it. Ah, oh, what a great idea! Now rook a two. Oh now my god! Goodness, it. that was brilliant. What a move! Okay, that's how you do it. King h four. We were we. It's a retreating king move. Who finds those? Okay. Was, now it's over. Yeah, because you can just put a six. Essentially, what you're gonna do is black is in zook swap. The rook can't move because the yep. pawn we lost. The king can't move because you push your pawn. So you have to let's say move base with your rook at some point. You take here and you're gonna win g six after just a seven check and then you get the king. Back. Seen a two song like that. Wow. Unbelievable. Magnus is going to take H2 and then win this with the Lucina. Let's head.